Right, so I got this uh, dog from the op shop and mad. He's like a bobblehead man. So I'm going to try and like um, stick him up on the back dash there somewhere. Woo! Go bobblehead dog. Uh, he didn't fit <coughs> quite as well as I'd hoped, but um, he's definitely up there. <laughs> he's funny as, his neck's all like bendy so I can like kink it a bit, make, get him off the roof just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, he's going to be funny as. Hey guys, it's Ben. This week we've had a bit of a breakthrough. We had a few wet days through the week. I actually got it to rev right up just out of nowhere doing single spinners in the wet. It went right through second all the way up. Give it to it in third and it like and took off down the street, down the private road. Then next corner, give it to it. It, it pulled all the way through, pulled well, well past 100 k's um, if I wanted it to. Yeah, I've, I've found them extra revs. I don't know what it was, it's just like the motor freed up, maybe like I, I babied this thing around to run it in, maybe I just needed to rev it up. I revved it up a couple of times with no load on it, bang, now she all the time. Since then, it sounds like it's got a bit of pre-ignition or detonation. I don't know if it was just the motor needed to free up, new bearings and new everything and had to run it in a bit harder, or if the timing chain's taken up slack, or the tensioner, or something, or like, I, d I don't know, bang, she go. So, um, it, 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 it's much, much, much more fun to drive now. It's got a lot more punch into the next gear. You can come down through the gears a lot harder and it, and it loves it. So, all, all good. Today I'm going to adjust the timing. I, I'm pretty sure it's about 17 degrees, so we're going to go back probably closer to 12, as long as it still runs sweet, and leave it there, and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Okay. Alright, so I know we've been through this before, but here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a 10 mil, and you're going to need your timing light. Um, mine's already set up, so we're going to start the car up now. I've already loosened the bolts on the dizzy a little bit so I won't have to get in there while we're, everything's spinning and hot. And then we'll see where it's at, see where we go. Alright. So we've gone a little bit less time than I probably could have. It's back down just above 10, 11 maybe, sort of. We'll see how it goes. If I've got you, I can just move it back up that little bit more. Hopefully that'll stop the ticking noise I'm getting. I'm pretty sure it's just the, like I said, detonation. Stick around a second and um, I'll show you how high she revs up now. Alright, so on. while we're here, I'll show you my new seat covers too. Um, they're not actually seat covers. They're like uh, hippie sort of ponchos. They work mad. Probably good anti-theft fucking device too. People fucking, oh man, who's them two hooded cunts in there? I ain't going near that. And then um, it sort of like hangs free in the back down here. Covers up all me rubbish. Because like that's all that gets used for is storing rubbish. They don't protect the base very much. They're better than nothing. More that they're an extra layer of padding for my ass. 
because the seam on my jeans it kills sometimes rubbing on the seat so having that extra layer helps a lot that's my seat covers So as you can see, she goes tons better. Might go for a cruise tonight, see if we can get some film of some other cars. Because I think um, with lockdown easing up, we might be able to get out and um, meet some more people and see some more cars. So should be good fun. Anyway, take it easy. I'll catch us around.